Hey everyone, I'm Tammy and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna share my top six tips when sewing with knit fabric to give you more confidence to sew comfier clothing. So I find knit fabrics are really comfortable to wear and they can look really professional if sewn well, but they can be really intimidating to work with and they definitely require more care when handling than your cottons and linens. I personally love sewing knit fabric and I've released quite a few knit patterns and over the past five years I have to say I've found these six common mistakes that people always tend to make and how you can avoid them. Mistake number one is using the incorrect needle. This is such a key element when working with knit fabrics, but I find so many people tend to overlook this. So generally, when you're sewing with knit fabric, you wanna use a ballpoint or a jersey needle. These are actually rounded at the tip, so it will gently slip into the fabric instead of breaking it. The standard needle that comes in all sewing machines is actually a universal needle, and that's intended for cottons and linens and woven fabric. When you use a needle that's actually actually designed for knit fabrics, it will make sure it's not tearing the fabric up and most importantly it will prevent skip stitches. So it's really important that you change this on your sewing machine. So if you've never actually tried changing your needle when using knit fabrics, this will make a huge difference. So mistake number two is setting the iron too hot. If you've ever sewn of knit fabric before and you've taken it to the ironing board and given it a nice press, but suddenly it looks really shiny, that's because you've used an iron that's too hot and it's basically burnt or scorched the fabric. This can be so annoying and it's happened to me multiple times, but I found the best way to prevent this is actually using a press cloth between the fabric and the iron plate. If you've ever watched any of my tutorials, you might have noticed this piece of fabric and it's just a scrap piece of linen fabric that I use as a press cloth. So I basically put this on top of knit fabrics when I'm ironing it and this just makes sure it gives the fabric a nice protective layer so the iron isn't gonna go straight onto the fabric and burn the knit fibers. So I definitely recommend if you have any scrap pieces of linen or cotton in your fabric stash, cut that into a square and then overlock the edges and that'll make a really nice press cloth. Mistake number three is wavy seams. If you've ever tried hemming knits and you've noticed the bottom looks really wavy and stretched out, I've got a few handful tips for you to try. Now, whether you're using an overlocker or a standard sewing machine when you're sewing knit fabric, using a longer stitch length can definitely help prevent waviness when you're sewing a seam. If you're specifically hemming knit fabrics, you can actually always try using hemming tape. And this is basically a fusible textile, which you iron onto the hem of the fabric and it keeps it in place as well as stabilizing it. That's a great hack if you want a really quick way of hemming knit fabrics. And then you can actually always top stitch directly on top of that for a bit more of a decorative finish. If you're specifically using an overlocker when sewing knit fabrics, I definitely recommend playing with your differential feed if you have waviness in your seams. So it's a setting on your machine that allows you to change the rate at which the feed dogs feed your fabric through the machine. I've always found increasing the differential feed number makes a huge difference in preventing the stretching out of any seams. And the most obvious and simplest way to prevent waviness in knit seams is definitely just to use a lot of steam when you're pressing your fabric. As I mentioned in the last step, make sure you do use a press cloth when you're using lots of steam on your iron and it will just help prevent any burning or scorching of the fabric. But honestly, I've always found just using a lot of steam on the fabric definitely just prevents any waviness and just smooths all the fabric out. Mistake number four is chewed up buttonholes. I know sewing buttonholes are some people's worst nightmare, especially when you're thinking of a knit garment. And I feel like you die a little inside when you finish sewing your project and you've gone to sew your buttonholes and you've just watched your machine chew up the entire garment and make a huge mess. But it is not impossible to sew neat and professional buttonholes when you're sewing knit garments. I like to use really good quality knit interfacing when sewing anything where buttonholes are gonna be and that just gives it a bit more structure, especially if you're using a really floppy fabric. This honestly makes a huge difference, especially if you're using a lightweight knit fabric. It will just give it so much more structure and it will be more of a solid piece when you're putting it through the machine. So it should be less likely to get stuck as you're sewing the buttonholes. I always recommend to try sewing buttonholes on a scrap piece of fabric first, which is the same fabric that you're using on your main garment to get these settings right before you actually sew the buttonholes on your final garment. 
The reason you want to use knit interfacing instead of woven interfacing is because knit interfacing is actually stretchy so it will stretch with your fabric and it just won't distort the fabric when you actually iron it onto your pattern pieces. Mistake number five is broken stitches. Knit fabrics need to be sewn with a stitch that will actually stretch with the fabric instead of working against it. So if you ever try sewing a stretchy garment with a straight stitch, when you actually put it on you, all your seams will break and the thread will actually snap, which is why it's really important to use the correct stitch when you're sewing with this type of fabric. The only time I use a straight stitch on knit garments is when I'm sewing an area that doesn't need to stretch, so that might be a really loose hem on a knit top. The correct stitches to use if you're using a standard sewing machine to sew knit fabrics is always a zigzag stitch or a stretch stitch. Every machine will have variations of stretch stitches, but they might look like a lightning bolt or a zigzag on your machine. I personally prefer to use an overlocker when sewing with knit fabrics because it provides a really professional finish on the inside of the garment as well as just being a really strong seam. I remember I got my overlocker probably about one year into my sewing journey and I'm really glad I took that investment because using an overlocker has really allowed me to up my skill set and just make clothes that look really professional from the inside and the out. If you're really feeling adventurous, you could actually try using a stretch thread in your standard sewing machine. This one from Mettler is specifically designed to use of a standard stitch and it allows your fabric to retain its elasticity. Mistake number six is shrunken garments. I'm including this last one because it's definitely something I need to tell myself more often. I am awful when it comes to pre-washing my fabric, but it's such an important step to do when you're sewing with knit fabrics. So knit fabrics are actually more prone to shrinking than woven fabrics, so it's really important you don't skip this step because you don't want to undo all the hard work of you slaving away and making something to only have it shrink in the wash later on. So make sure you pre-wash your fabric before you cut out your pattern pieces to prevent any distortion or shrinking. Trust me, you will thank yourself later on. And that is my roundup of six common sewing mistakes when sewing with knit fabrics and how you can avoid them. Experimenting with knit fabric will really help you up your sewing game and it's just a nice way to incorporate more comfy clothes in your handmade wardrobe. So if you've never tried it before or you've done it once and you've completely hung up the towel, I promise you if you follow these six tips, it will help you avoid lots of mistakes in the future and create a garment you're truly proud of. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're looking for any really easy, beginner friendly knit patterns. I have lots on my shop which I'll link down below. This jumper that I'm wearing is the Mila jumper which is sewn in knit fabrics and I also have a new sewing pattern the Cara cardigan which also uses knit fabrics and makes you sew buttonholes into the neckband. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content and I'll see you in the next one.